it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and more detailed, more crazy. We are moving part of the Lego city uh, into this room. We've got a few different cities in progress, and um, this is one of them. So, got duplicates on a lot of buildings. And I'm just kind of doing the layout right now. This is Garage Central right there. And um, we're also gonna be moving you know having the tiles proper so it looks like this stuff extends out might even be moving some buildings around things like that uh might even push some of this against the wall nevertheless and this does all need to be slid down unfortunately but um nevertheless we're trying to do it to where um we've got a good working space and can maybe kind of uh, fit in the middle like in this area and then do 180 degree pan or even a pan completely around and show everything kind of like this say if these were over there and we just kind of pan all the way around like this so but now is layout time and even though we've got dozens of plates even somewhere over there um, we are right now going through it and trying to co or color coordinate as best as possible. Main Street, for example, it's looking like it's going to be gray. Secondary Street, um, it's going to be darker gray. Get some green in here and then uh, just a like a little cul-de-sac where the um, fishing store is located. Get a little restaurant. I figured this was kind of, you know, old home or whatever, however you want to look at it, right next to the uh, fishing store. Um, so this is kind of a, I don't know, it's a, it's a cool area. This is the type of area I'd love to hang out with if I was on vacation. Hang out in. But uh, got, um, let's see, residential building, pet store, theater over there. We're trying to also think of like parking lots. Of course, the guy from the city's parked back there, the diner. Um, so some of these might change around as we grow. We've actually got more modulars. We've got more of everything to build. We've got enough to uh, fill up this area completely. But we still have to move into this room. Um, got a lot of our little minis down there. Of course, the Home Depot, the Best Buy is in here. And, um, uh, let's see, Fire Brigade, um, I can't remember the name, name of that right offhand. Uh, we've even got uh, the Town Hall and the Green Grocer and uh, some of the other old ones to bring in. Those are in the display case at the moment. But, um, all right, so, so far, this right here is uh, one of the was it four or five cities we've got going being done by uh, different people. And also, pretty big parking lot. So the plan is that we are gonna be using yellow here and doing actual parking spots. Now the ultimate goal is to tile the whole thing. So everything, including the parking lot and all of these are gonna be tiled. We'll pop these one buys off and extend the tile up on there too. So, it should look pretty cool when it's done. Main Street's looking good. Got a CVS, White Castle. That's probably gonna be the Kroger's gas station up there to go along with the, uh, that Kroger's Marketplace right there next to the Apple Store. And uh, anyway, let me know what you think. Give me some suggestions if you'd like. And uh, might have a little Restaurant Central just kind of showing a lot of the different restaurants and stuff, but for now, oh, and a train. We're gonna have a train in here, of course. Very few Lego cities don't have trains, right? 
Got a bunch of train parts there ready to go. Some stuff in the box. Boxes out there have stuff, so. All right, let us know what you think. We will see you all very soon. If you like vlogs and behind the scenes stuff, be sure to click right there. And if you like highly detailed Lego sets like our Home Depot, click over there. Everybody, thanks for watching, and we will see all of you next time right here on Brick Addict.